to the ASOC Vehicle Retrieval System. Vehicle selected. Stand Your vehicle has been delivered to the following location. Please visit us again. the ASOC Vehicle Retrieval System. Your insurance claim has been sent.
I was looking at different detail levels for the lulz. But what the hell is going on here? Somebody decided, you know what? It would be really clever here. Shiny chrome. Or bladed? No. What do, what do you call Embossed? Surface? That makes a perfect fish eye reflection of the entire room behind me. Yeah. That's worth frying our computers for. <laughs> Just kidding, of course it's worth it. Each and every single detail put into this game. Somebody testing some kind of technology. Trying it out, seeing out how it behaves. Mm, but that gave me shivers, man. The reason why I'm looking so closely at all these textures is because I've never seen a lower res texture than the warning symbol on that machine. Like this floor texture is pretty pixelated two inches from my face of course but this edge the edge of this arrow doesn't seem to be pixelated at all like at all That's a very high res image too. No, you know what? That jagged edge, that's not texture. That's clever. See, the texture itself, you can see here, it's pixelated. But those jagged edges, it's gotta be some sort of, I don't know, some sort of something. Uh, I can't Welcome come up with the name right the now, but yeah, system. you know what I mean. We don't. Um, I just had to point that out. Please visit us again. Goodbye. Like some kind of bump map? Is that the word I'm looking for? Or I'm not really sure. really sure. I'm guessing it's Anger 1. Didn't pay attention. Oh. Sorry. Final mistake. Promise. I didn't retrieve the chip. I just expedited it. They're like, hey, this guy just paid 4,000 credits to expedite delivery of his ship. Probably won't want it right away. I swear the option should be expedite and retrieve. Then as soon as the counter hits zero, boom, your ship has been delivered to the following location. Even if you're not at the console, of course. Here we go, this is my baby. It took me a minute earlier to realize that I had retrieved the wrong ship. I just thought, if I'm gonna bring a big bulky ship, at least bring one that can defend itself. I can't get over the fact that this is the only working airlock I've seen so far in any of the ships I've had. All the others just open at random. Alright. Let's put this tip to the test. Um.
Right, I don't know if I can get those missions here, but let's have a look. Asteroids around yellow. That's risky. <sighs> Wait a minute. No, don't mess with me. I can get that mission. Dude, I need my prospector. ASAP. Okay, yeah. I did not know. Okay, so since there's nobody watching, I'll make a quick detour. So what just happened is that I thought I could get a vulture, use the vulture to grind some missions and then get the salvage mole mission because I've never seen it pop. I thought I had to level my salvage. I do not. I just need to, to get on the gray side of the law. You know what? Go. Why? Your vehicle has been delivered to the following location. Visit us again. Hold on. Welcome to the ASOC vehicle. Are they both system. now? Okay, they're not good. Hangar one, okay. Oh my god, I've burnt ten percent of the time just swapping ships. We can do this. By the way, did you know that you can put a 8th SU box right there? I did not know that. Now I do. Something goes in there anyways. Alright, plans have changed. How do I get to where I'm going? You are clear to launch. Why do I have several? Oh my god, it's doing that bug again. Hold on. Oh, Thank right. You. It didn't Please allow me to plan. I didn't notice. How bad? Okay, I have to plan my route to somewhere nearby. Let's go to Magda. I can't get to Magda? Let's go to Hersnan. Okay, good. so long that I thought it didn't activate and I tried again and I accidentally cancelled. One more time. There we go. Okay. <laughs> One fifth of the time gone. Oh no, 
I have to pit stop at a station on the way. I forgot to get a multi tool. Oh my god. Whew. Okay. Don't beat yourself up. We can do this. Unfortunately, because I'm in my prospector, I have a size 1 quantum drive. Let's just hit up Everest Harbor right away. I could do a Lagrange Point station, but since we're bouncing off first, might as well. I have to go through OM6 as well. This is dandy, okay. We'll probably get there with about 10 minutes to spare. That should be enough. Should be enough. See what global is up to. Telling people about retrieving your body, 30k protection. Yeah, let's not get into it. The thing is, the 30k protection has kicked in immediately for me every time. Never had to wait. Just log straight back and go to your home city. I mean, of course, because I never spawn in my OG home city of Area 18. Um, it probably takes me the required 10 minutes to get there anyways. Might be why. The choice of color on this armor was quite random, but... Uh, I like it. What is this? Like, uh, not steel gray, but can't remember the name of that gray color. And this, they call it dark red, but this is almost like wine red. Or well, maybe not that much blue. Works well together. Granite? Grey? No, that's not it. Graphite, that's it. Graphite grey. Or graphite black if you like. Really works well. Salvage is down there, we're about to approach here. It's all good in the hood. Our next target is up here. OM6 to get some distance from the planet. So all I had to do was interrupt the quantum travel a little bit earlier, but then my route planner wouldn't update. That is something, oh my god, that is something I wish. <gasps> this is gonna look so good, hold on. I gotta, I gotta get this. Gotta get this. Let's do this. Oh, perfect timing. No, wait. Am I at the Everest Station now? I shouldn't be. Donde chucha eta estación? There we go. Blinded by the lights. Honestly, like, I can't see if I'm hitting the space station or what. Oh, I'm not. Okay, good. In this ship, the quantum drive has a low, quiet rumble. I like it. In a lot of ships, it's way too noisy to leave on.
using my VTOL thrusters to slow down. Contacting ATC doesn't work. I have to use the radio. Always works. Pro tip. What? I said this always works. Why are you letting me down? Okay, let's just hope for the best. I can't rem seem to remember where the landing pads are. Are they at the edges of the... Yeah, they are, aren't they? Yeah, that, that's where they are. On these arms. Hold on. I need a freaking pad, come on. Ain't nobody got time for this. Okay, I'll turn off that. Oh, I didn't see that. Almost hit that. Oh. I am lucky to be alive. Come on. Okay, let's do the... There we go. Thank you. I probably get rejected from the one I'm uh, assigned because I've asked so many times. We've already approved that request. We've already approved that request. Something like that. That's on what side? On this side, right? No, it's from the top. Top loaded. Okay, that's fine. Hit it. There we go. Ain't nobody got time for this. There we go. And sit down. 80 minutes left, oh my god. Go, 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 go. Yeah, I don't keep a flying fuck. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna make it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mess up this contract so bad. Automatic doors and a slow server are killing me. 30k, 30k. Most likely. No, just a slow server. Come on. Yes, okay, good. 18 minutes left. Sorry for the suddenly stressed out gameplay, but I ain't got time to lose. And I assume I have to go to the refinery. There's no refinery here. Oh. Let's just see what the internal elevators offer me. here? I think so. Yeah. Good, 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 good. <laughs> I'm so bad at getting lost. Cargo center, yeah. They'll, they'll have me covered. I, I don't care if my die, guy dies of exhaustion. Where are the terminals there they are? Here we go. What is this? Personal weapons? Yeah. Quick buy. Attachments. Check to be a quick buy. Probably quick buy to the station. I'll put that into inventory before taking off. I'll put that into inventory before taking off. I will not forget to put that into inventory before taking off. I feel like this chill out session just became a survival game platformers thing. <laughs> okay, this way. 16 minutes left. Ooh, I think I'm kind of spot on with my 10 minutes assumption. 
No, I don't need that. I have some kind of hanger already. Hanger one, okay. Let's do this. Ooh -wee. Let's go steal some saddlebags. I've been waiting to do this upgrade on my ship since it became possible. I have thought that I needed to salvage and I have not been willing to shield for the salvage ship. So this dream was supposed to be me getting that salvage ship in order to grind salvage missions and go systems should be ready yeah they are you are clear to, to leave thank you you are clear to launch should be able to get out here now yeah all right uh, I forgot to hold on hold on hold on hold on do this first <laughs> There's a saying and get route, please get route. Yes, thank you. Apparently, I'm going there. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Coincidentally, appointing the right way, me. Magda next. Oh, yeah, I forgot those landing gears. Well, what do you know? will make good time oh yeah no sound bug that's nice nice and soothing hey Magda I'm dead all right and there's the salvage there's the salvage come on come on you can do it just 300 kilometers we could walk there don't worry about it. It'll just take, what, 80 hours? Something like that. Ooh, <laughs> you're a big guy. I'm not gonna mess with you. Where is the salvage? There is the salvage. Um, no, let's scan. I need to know about potential threats. And there are a lot of you. Yeah, I don't need that kind of max speed. Like, I just saw something floating back there that might have been it. I've never done a salvage mission before, I don't know how accurate the markers are. Yeah, I should slow down. Invisible asteroids are a thing. Yeah, no, that's the mole. Okay, good. No loose parts hanging around. Good, good. And then, because they need to be pointing down. Trespassing on private property, of course. I paid to be here. 12 minutes till arrival of security. Okay. Then we just do like this. And we do like this. I know I'm trespassing. This is good. This is fine. Okay. <sighs> Open ladder. Never double check that helmet is on. Always double check. Oh. Again. Yeah, you don't want that spitting inside the door frame. That's why I do that. Okay, a little bit far, but that's fine. Let's get to work. I forgot to take it out of inventory. Oh my god, guys, I forgot to take it out of inventory. This is so bad. Oh my fucking god. No, no, don't close the ladder. Okay, close the ladder, I don't care. Enter ship, enter ship. Enter ship. Let's do this thing. Okay. 
Okay. <laughs> okay, all I need to do is to get to the inventory of Portrusler. Fire up Quantum Drive. <laughs> this is so bad. How could I do this mistake? So, where is it? There, Everest Harbor, not for Tressler. My bad, let's go. Hmm. Was that a direct route? I will take those odds. Okay. Oh my god, this is so good. I've never... Oh, this is so good. I could never hope for this. I will make this, no problem. The jump takes, what, 30 seconds? Something like that. No, 10. 10 seconds. Okay, this is fine, this is fine. See, 10 minutes left, nothing to worry about. I have a pistol. <laughs> and two size 1 guns or whatever. Yep. I can do this. Thank you. Which would be turn off this thing. There we go. Landing legs out. Collision alert. Don't need to break my ship before we fix it. Oh my god, I'm so hoping for no... When I try this hard, I really hope there's no... Um, Terror or nothing like that. Okay, inventory. Thank you. Oh my god, 8 minutes, where did the minutes go? There we go, and there we go, and that's it. Okay, back to space. Oh my god. You are clear to launch. Thank you. You are clear to launch. Thank you. Landing legs this time. Do not seem like a noob. Okay, this is no OA. That's fine, that's fine, thank you. I am indeed clear to launch. Okay, I'll have six minutes. <laughs> We're fine. We'll probably be leaving as they arrive to kill us. Which reminds me, as soon as I get to the salvage, before I leave the ship, I need to prepare my escape route. Please don't bump into any debris. Okay, we're good. There's the risk. Oh, shit, that's the uh, thing again. Yeah, that's the mole. Yeah. In Norwegian, we have a saying that is basically rushing is. An impedance is the best translation I can think of. However, you rush, get crushed. It's, it rhymes at least. 
And that is the belly of the beast, isn't it? Yeah, perfect. perfect. Okay, this time let's get a little bit closer. That was a little bit too... Like so, more or less. Not really important. I have 5 minutes, 46 seconds. Oh my fucking god. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I just lost a couple of... A couple of thousand. It's fine. But I really want this to work. Okay, that worked better. No running this time. Okay. Here we go. I forgot to unlock ports, but that's apparently not needed. So... That's nice. You can take any saddlebags you like, I guess. difficult with me. Four minutes, 42 seconds left. Okay. There we go. I need to turn them around. I think I do, actually. Do they just, like... No, they don't. Have they fixed this? I hope that, to God, they haven't. They have to be the right way, I think. Okay, let's try this this way then. Yes, perfect. Okay, wait, what was that? Okay, three fifty-seven. Okay, we're doing good. A good time. Don't get cocky. Don't get. Don't lose focus and don't get cocky. This is going great. Imagine having all those on our boss picture. That'd be great. I can't understand how people are mad that this is possible. The fact that this is a gameplay loop is so underrated. Like seriously. This is like one of the coolest emergent gameplay loops I've seen. You have a crap size one tiny little prospector ship here. Go and have some bigger size one saddlebags. Okay, now let's just not die that. Sh that was so efficient, I could have done two prospectors in this time. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I have finally been able to. I forgot to do the thing that I said I need to do again, but we have two and a half minutes to do so. So that's fine. Let's just jump. Arc L4, straight ahead. No detours. Perfect timing as well. Bye bye, Johnny. Yeah, I'm fine with no sound. Contract? Did I accept that? I have no recollection of this. Huh. <sighs> the sweet silence of success. I guess there's some deep meaning into in that. Let me just make sure that I actually got him. Yep. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, they're all here. Now, I'm afraid of saying this out loud because I managed to forget everything I've said I need to do up to this point. But I 
need to make changes to my ship loadout and save them so that these mofos are also saved. Argo saddlebags on a misc prospector. <sighs> I am so pleased, you have no idea. Maybe you do, you've been listening to me moan about it for the last couple of minutes. That's me. Just, I'm celebrating too soon, man. I have to save the lower out first. And then, and then, and then. It's getting really late here, but you know what? I'll permit myself time to test them out. First things first. Set down at Arkel floor and save my loadout. Maybe I should also look for a better gun. Just in case I need to defend myself at some point. Honestly, I would like a shotgun. But I'm not quite sure if that's available. At Arc L4. <sighs> I need a glass of water after this. Clean mineral holding drinking water is so underrated. I mean, see all kids nowadays just chugging down on energy drinks and I'm like I'm chugging down on coffee I'm not not gonna say anything to that but a black cup of joe maybe with a bit of cream in it oh I didn't okay that's fine Right, it's impossible to calibrate a target that close to another target for some reason. Or is it? No, apparently not. Got pixel lucky. I actually think it's a fraction of a pixel on my 1440p display. Did I hit the station? Yes, I did. Wait, did I just calibrate something I couldn't see? That's fun. I have to be really careful. I've been pushing my luck so far. Actually, come to think of it. Let's give it time to load in all the rocks around me. I'm scared that I'm rushing this into an early grave. But I'm not in an armistice zone, so I don't feel safe. I think that over yonder is the hangars and whatnot. Okay, armistice zone we, it is. I gotta make a change. Something in my HUD. I think it's here. Um, Thank you. Please visit again. Actually, I want to turn off that. Um, dampening curvature, zone size. 
Oh, that's fine. Yeah, this one. Oh, that's on. There we go. So, yeah, that's what I like. This is what I like. This is what I like. Oh, see there? Shit, it's about... Let's hit it up here. I can see the entrances. Should be calling ATC by now. Maybe it's already in range. Yeah, it is. Five kilometers. Five kilometers ago. Lol. That was not intentional. I'm not sure what happened there. Probably a lag spike. What collision alert? I don't want to blow up my stuff before I get it saved. Why? 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 Why aren't? Oh, oh! Of course, I'm in VTOL mode. I don't have reverse thrusters. That's dumb. By me, that is. I can repair, but I can't repair things that aren't part of the ship. Okay, halfway there. Let's just do the services. Just have everything. Yeah, look at that, 650. Did I... I, d I didn't repair those off, did I? I just got really scared. That nobody's mentioned it that a repair while you're with your new saddlebags would remove them, but it didn't. Thank you, that is amazing. I could check it. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, hydrogen fuel will have to wait. I don't want nothing bad to happen to anything more now. I parked as far away from the elevators as I could. I'm used to the freelancer. Alright. Let's see how this goes. No elevator on the right hand side. Okay. Okay. I can dig. Gentlemen, I think I have just increased my prospectors' mining potential by 50%. See, the original capacity of carrying ores is 32. Don't worry about that, that was nothing. Oh yeah, let's not... Let's unequip the repeaters. That's a change worth saving. And the advice is to exit and enter again. 
just to make sure. I don't think you actually need to do that, but I'm not here to take chances today. And ladies and gentlemen, I have saved my loadout with the mole bags. Very pleased with this. Um, let's take her for a spin. I apologize if the stream name has been you yeah, see that it said cargo 32 SU it even says so on the ship retrieval page Ladies and gentlemen, my prospector no longer has the cargo capacity of 32 SU. It has a glorious 48. Four more SU beautiful ores in each and every of those saddlebags. By the way, remember my freelancer? See this? Here, lock right there, just automatically opening both doors at the same time. No good. Let's see if we can refuel hydro. It's not important, but I like things to be. Oh! Restock, okay, I don't know what that restock would be. Put 10. A U E C. But my mold bags are still here. Are gold. Yeah. Okay, no idea what that restock was. The bulldogs aren't ch charging. Maybe I should. Uh, Give them time. Anywho. Oh, I completely lost focus. You are to launch. Let's go and do some moon mining. Just because it's available. And I don't have to look up the interdiction table for the halo. Let's see. What's the closest moon? Aberdeen. Ariel. Magda I wish it said a little bit about atmospheric relationships here but okay let's do the thing heck I could just mine around the station this is more fun Landinger, Landinger, Landinger. Honestly, I wish they make us uh, tear off our Landinger <laughs> by jumping. Well, it does make sense that they wouldn't have technology automate that function. But then again, I know th the lower band all forms of AI, but automation and AI are not the same thing. And realistically, I would click where I want to go and the ship would automatically calculate each and every leg of the journey and pilot it. 
like we're all talking about blades for this and blades for that like the turrets or AI engineers or whatever but what would logically be replaced first by automation would be the piloting itself like we're already doing it in, in aviation to a very high degree the pilots are just there to check that everything is doing its job and be hands on if the circumstances are extraordinary and the automated system can no longer be trusted unexpected variables, extreme winds, etc. Though, I think a well-designed autopilot would handle that just as well as a perfect pilot. Escort request. Oh, tempting. just realized I need a drink. I still have a couple of seconds before I hit the... Before I hit the planet, I think. Bottoms up. I managed to put it on, yes I did. I hate this inventory glitch, but that's fine. Yeah, we're good. Didn't even succumb to deceleration. <laughs> that's good. Just in time. Perfect. Oh, I forgot. I don't need to go all the way. Oh yeah, right. the cooldown, that's why it was red. Dum dum. Right down there is Hurston. I've been told that those arrows are uh, quantum interdiction traces. Oh, Aberdeen does not have many posts. Outposts. Oh, it's the planet of Clesher, of course it doesn't. Well. Let's go down anyways. And we're going I'm gonna cut this short. Please go back on. Are my shields not recharging? Yes, everything is... Okay, that was scary. North Pole it is. I wonder how close I can be to Clasher mining. But I'm not gonna f find that out today. This is... Oh, that's Clasher on the other side of the planet, okay. It's fine. So... I'm just gonna go straight down until my pitch meter becomes an altometer. At which point I can... Yeah, VTOL is a good idea here. Approaching fast. Oh, 
approaching fast. The, ladies and gentlemen, your screens are about to become yellow. By the way, the fact that the Northern Pole is more than just lit up makes me think that this is what corresponds to uh, a summer in the Northern Hemisphere. I can see contours of the ground, that's good. But that is still just displaying my pitch, which is, which is apparently not straight down. That's odd. I would think this was 90 degrees. Well, never mind. Yeah, I can turn off this, I don't need that. This was a rough entry. Haha. <laughs> that was fun. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Oh fuck. This yellow haze will be so difficult to do anything in. Let's hit that one and then turn around. Seems like there's a lot of good stuff behind us. The good thing here is if that is if is that if I go completely stealth you won't be able to see anyone through this fog like visual contact out of the question okay so three clusters or one very spread out cluster this is interesting oh okay this is this is good Okay, the, the brightness is toned down a little bit here. That's good. Oh, this is good. This is good. Oh, sorry. I'm shaken up by the <laughs> fact that things are actually working out. I did not bring any other modules. I cannot do big rocks at all. An iron, ground metal. Uh, ground metal, like uh, basic metal. That's bad. That's really bad. We will not return rich from this endeavor. Let's try this one. 2000. I should be able to take that out. I think maybe 5,000 is the ideal rock, nothing above that. Lifeline module on Alt 2. And the Stampede on Alt 1. Let's just for funsies try to see if the... According to our dear friend I have no personal relationship with, but I appreciate his uh, advice, El Guapo, if he's right. Then Beryl should not, yes, Beryl should break cleanly, no matter what's going on. But I'm still gonna try this. But a clean break is not a proof of anything. I don't remember what the lifeline does right now, but I'm gonna look at it afterwards. Oh! Oh! 
a little bit laggy there. I can really notice my Hofsted uh, being problematic here. Please break. There we go. It looked clean. Seventy one pure barrel. Attack might sixty six percent, not worth it. It's barrel. If it was Bexlite or oh, what's the other one? I'll remember. Or gold would have been one hundred percent worth it. I think that was it. But let's have a look. Iron is pretty heavy, so this might also be backslide. As I think the percent. Oh, okay, yeah. Maybe I should scan more rocks before I start chugging on barrel. 40% barrel, I didn't catch the size. It looks too big though. 5000 looks perfect. <sighs> Laronite, that's the other one. Okay, yeah. 7000, no, I should be able to do that one as well. Okay, that's, that's cool. But this one, this is what I actually want. Isn't it? Now, oh, that's the wrong button. Okay, good. This one is barely moving at 20. That's a good sign. That means I can control the brake. Okay, this one I should not be able to break cleanly. Let's give it a try. If I can, it should be exactly there. A little bit up. A little bit up. Up. There we go. Oh, I have to get rid of that dead zone, I realize. A little bit more up, there we go. No, that's too far. That's perfect, okay. Could do a stampede just for fun, but I think I'll save that for a 7000 rock. Remember that time when I held left alt preparing for a module release and then I decided to go to third person see my ship from outside Pepperidge farm remembers Struggling with the lag, sorry about this. Oof, 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 oof. Almost blew, blew the rock there. Whoa! Okay. Laronite, you are no joke. Yeah, it's a dirty.
dirty. Unless the rest is clean. El Guapo is right. Okay, that one is clean. If the rest is clean, El Guapo is wrong. Yeah, dirty. I mean, I can definitely profit from carrying this. It's just... Okay, for 9% that's a good one. Thing is, I calculated... Oh, that's a very good one. But yeah, El Guapo is 100% right. And he will not be surprised to hear this. Fatal. Right, so I've been thinking about this, right? Tier 1 materials and Tier 2 materials. Tier 1 materials can give you up to 7.5 per SU, right? Tier 2 materials can easily give you 3, 3 and something. So they're approximately worth 40% of the Tier 1s. Approximately. Differing, of course, before from market price and everything. However, when you go for Tier 1, if this is correct, you'll either have to settle with a fraction of each rock, uh, Laronite content for example, I can drop this and lose out on 34% of a ton, or I could suck it up, 2.43, 3.21, so approximately 0 0.8 SU, right? that I would be willing to leave. The reason I'm saying this is that as far as I can tell, I won't be able to get away with more than 50% of my load or I'll have to with 50% worthy materials if I go for Laronite. See what I mean? Why am I scanning that? And why am I looking at that? This one was okay. It's actually nasty. Anyways, my point is that I don't refine iron, for example. This is seven tons of barrel. Thing is, if I crack this open, I'll leave with the pure 40%. That is 100% of half of this rock. No trash. Meaning I will come back just as fast or faster. It's too close. With the same value. Let's work. Why is my charge level... what is going on? Oh no. Okay, hold on. What is going on? Server FPS 5, that's pretty shit. My FPS is 20, that's also pretty shit. Something is going on. The optimal window is so bad. Let's stampede. Oh my god. Take it easy, cowboy. What the hell was that? I wasn't even in the green zone. It wasn't even charging. Oh my god. How's my ship looking? Nothing is red. Okay. Now, I did obviously not do a job to break this one clean. So whatever happened here, I took no part in it.
I have come to learn that scanning these rocks with scanning mode is the way to go. PV in is staying at 11 megabits per second. What the hell is going on? Okay. I think that was just a lag spike from hell. Yeah. Because the 10 to 20 XB way in from normal. Where am I supposed to see the results in the scanning? It, I should see them on the left hand side, I never do. Yeah, it's bugged. I always thought I just didn't understand how to use it. However, okay, let's just disregard all the bugs. So it would have happened anyways. Now uh, I'm breaking this 7k rock. First of all, it's easier to break than a tier 1 material. It breaks cleanly. And I'm leaving with a ton of my good stuff. Okay, that was two dirty rocks. That's not usually the case, but it can happen. Now the rock exploded, that means I've lost parts and it seems like the parts are lost were 100% barrel but it's all good we can do this yeah see this is not a good break but then again it overcharged like hell so I can do the 75 as well we're with dirty saddlebags anyways the point is that I can carry 48 of them Let's see what else we got here. So, I'm no longer looking for tier 1. I'm looking for tier 2 or Quantanium. See that? 25k. Not even worth looking at. But these... These are good. Now, like I said, iron is a bad basic material. Barrel... Barrel is not the best of the tier twos, absolutely not. Uh, but I haven't had this ideology for that long. So, for example, agrisium, no idea if it's worth it. Need to check up on that. Oh, that's a big one. Hold on, let me just go to. A Chrome tab and see what's going on. Let's see. Like this, and like this, and like. Don't play YouTube videos while you're streaming. It's bad for business. <laughs> business, like I'm running a business here. Let's see. So, diamond, boris, laronite, hephaestonite, agrisium, and beryl. Agrisium is slightly better than beryl, it seems. But laronite, boris, and diamond are the half as nice let's do that one. Oh no impossible never mind let's do this one <laughs> 2k quick and dirty let's get it over with oh whoa, whoa. someone's playing hard to get huge resistance on this one <laughs> Still those lag spikes, man. I'm not even gonna bother doing the clean break technique because I no longer believe in it. Oh, what the hell just happened? I've never used the lifeline before. 
Why is it so efficient? Lag spikes, man. Overcharge rate plus 60, resistance minus 16. Okay, it must have been the resistance or the instability as well. As far as I understand, the instability goes more negatively than positively. Okay, you gotta remember I'm in VTOL mode. Yeah, so this. This thing exploded, that's for sure. Apparently it's not as easy as I told myself it was. And this is a barrel rock, this should break cleanly. If El Guapo is right. Yeah, okay. I should just mention his name more often. Seems to do me good. This is a 2k rock as well, so it shouldn't have been a problem to begin with. But it had high resistance. It did. Okay, three dirty rocks, that's actually pretty bad. So it is the cluster effect. And you get negative cluster bonus by overcharging, I presume. I'll take that as well. It's leaving a stone barely touched. Grisium. Let's see how our Grisium treats us. Nine thousand, and it's called easy. I don't think they know what easy means. Let's try the lifeline again. And... Okay, so lifeline and stampede cannot be pulled off together. Doesn't seem like it. Okay, so I spent all my stampedes. That's fine. The Grecium breaks dirty as well. This one wasn't visibly overcharged. I guess I can't trust anything that I see on a such a laggy server like this. You know what? I just want to fill up and go home with 48 SU of cargo. I'm uh, accept pretty bad stuff from this one. Sixty-six percent. Best I've seen so far. What is this over here?
63%, okay, 66%, and if it doesn't fill me up, I may hit the other one. Yeah, because these two weren't 66, so I'm right. No, 20 and 35. And the top one was a little bit more than that. to do the spin up again and I know Arc L4 isn't a, a great refinery but it's my current refinery and I enjoy it I know red out and black out is a thing but sideways out with that like Red out half your brain and black out the other half. So you just get either really creative or really logical. Which is not how the brain works at all, by the way. Whew, I'm sweaty. I don't know if it is because I'm sitting next to my computer burning up from playing Star Citizen. Or if it's because... This has been a trip. But holy hell, 48 SU. I mean... Okay, I can't check my cargo right now, can I? I don't know if knickknacks maybe tell me? Yeah, no. Yeah, this one blew me away. Look at this. If I click vehicles, I'll only. Microtech. That is not where my prospector is, but okay. I'll only see thing I've tagged. Right, that didn't blow me away. What blew me away was my idea of how to perfect this. Uh, when you filter, just make a quick check. What is in here? Are there containers in here? Yes. Do those containers contain a ship? No. No. Yes. Then this, this container and this container should be visible not the other two like you filter out the containers actually it's kind of uh, interesting that the mule is at uh, Lorville. I didn't know that I probably took it out there for a spin yeah I really like the, the mule had to buy it in game credits of course I used to have it pledged For a while I thought I would keep it just because I thought it was so amazingly cute. But then I realized a Drake Mule, Argo, SRV, those ships are probably going to be easily available early game after release. There's no point in pledging them. Except if you plan on getting a larger ship and you get a good deal. And you can upgrade it. Either with a good deal or with uh, lifetime insurance or whatever. I used to care a lot about lifetime insurance. I don't do that anymore. So the fact that this prospector does not have a lifetime insurance is stuff good from my uh, game pack. That's a 
that's fine to me. What I could do is melt the pack with the prospector and everything in it. Get a new pack with some great offer or something. Already done that once when there was a great offer for the Nomad pack, I think. Oh, should not have that on. And then um, get an LTI token and upgrade it to the Prospector. That's possible. But that would mean having to get a pack with a ship that I might not want. Okay. Calm link established. Why would I accept that? And where the heck am I? There we go. What is up here? Well, okay, I don't know. Down here is the station anyways. Oh, same as before. Okay, that's a new bug. Happened twice now on the same station. Not really bothering me that much. Major torque imbalance, okay. Player, you see that? Thank you. And please visit again. Please proceed to assign landing bay. Which is Hello. Yeah, thank you. And thank you for contacting EDR Landing Assist. EDR Landing Assist? What the hell is that? Never heard of you before. ES camera? ES camera trying to call me. And wish me a happy birthday. Yeah, it's not my birthday. Okay, veto mode and boosting the stopping. That is apparently more. Veto mode is so powerful. I've kind of forget it. By the way, if you, like me, are struggling with the finicky parts of slow speed limiter, like before we had this walking speed speed limiter we don't have anymore, they are going to address that. Allowing for finer tuning at the lower speeds. This one should either... Oh my god, what did I break? Something expensive, that's for sure. Oh, I did have the rocks blow up my face a lot. Okay, nothing was done. Let's try that again. Hydrogen. Refueling. This red line means it's working on it. If that disappears, it's not... Oh, it's done. That disappears without no service required, it's not done. Like this one, it disappeared and it's still saying processing. And it's not done. Same thing with this one. So then you just skip somewhere else and go back. A hydrogen fuel, I really, no, a re, a quantum fuel, I really need to refill. And. Completed. Great. Um, 
You know what? I'm tempted to refine all of it. Just because finding less than half will not make me feel how much is in these bags. And heck, the world needs iron. Somebody has to do the dirty job. elevators here we go okay that concludes it for today welcome to the ASOC vehicle retrieval system please visit us again what please with that let's head on over to the elevators and Refine the hell out of this. Oh, watch it. My bad. Oh, boxes. Oh, a wall. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> oh, another wall. <laughs> Cinematic running for the win. And that's my spine, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. Yeah, refinery. Been so long, I forgot. <laughs> what? Is this a lift? Ooh, access panel inside. Great. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. That's what, twenty two, twenty three? I would still be able to fit this on my Nomad. How about this one? <laughs> and of course the Grisium, I forget. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm pleased with the fact that I can only do the tier 1 and 2. And it would not fit on my Nomad. That's... That would never happen. Such a dirty load. How much do I have to pay to refine the iron? 9395, so 200 credits. And I'll probably make 4000 total. Yeah. Let's do it. I think it's like 500 per SU. Stuff like that. Alright. Faint clan. Don't let me down. Well, ladies and gentlemen. Have a cookie.
Yeah, I'm gonna round off here. Maybe I'll leave you looking at this guy. Look at those pictorials. Yeah, how about it? A little bit of ASMR at the end of the night. Not a bad way to end things. So it turns out, no vulture for me. But heck, if I didn't get 48 SU of cargo capacity on my prospector. I'm pretty pleased with that. Alright, Gil signing off. Thank you.